ROM COLLECTOR Well guys, we are back again to another one of my latest videos over here when I'm showing you the computer stuff side of the modding on the Wii Today what we're going to be working on is what you see in front of you We're going to be working on the front SD card Remember, make sure it's FAT32 I'll show you guys now But uh, appreciate you guys, appreciate you guys watching Last couple of videos I did Got a, quite a um, couple, you know, good amount of views for for my level, you know. I appreciate you guys. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share if you like any of the content that I got here for you. But um, don't forget too on my Battle of the Hills. I'll be back tomorrow night with more action, some more Mortal Kombat action. Uh, appreciate you guys, all the people who watch my Mortal Kombat stuff. I appreciate that, and all of you that watch my. Uh, Nintendo Wii tutorial stuff, I appreciate that. So I appreciate everybody who supports me and uh, hope you guys like the video. All right. All right. So here we go. Let's get into it. All right. Okay, so here we're back in the computer. And this is basically what I have on my computer. I have a master SD folder where I got all my apps and stuff. This is, I just, I just go like this, you know, I copy and paste everything onto a, a blank SD, formatted SD, to FAT32, or a, um, or a hard drive, okay guys? So basically, once you, when you first start, you won't have all this stuff, but the easiest way to get it, is we're going to pretend this sample SD is the SD card. First thing you're going to do is make sure it's FAT32 pretty sure is it because uh, I will get a 32 gig 32 gig uh, SD card for the front that'd be a good size so once you format it to FAT32 they come FAT32 up to 64 gigs up to 32 gigs so it should be FAT32 once you do that the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna add a folder file and you're gonna call it apps well you don't have to capital letter uh, so we're going to call it apps, okay? We're going to hit enter and we're going to make that folder. And then you're going to get the link that I have on one of my videos for the homebrew, for the homebrew channel. And you're going to get the homebrew channel. And once you download the homebrew channel, it won't be a folder. It's going to be a zip file or a, a zip file or it's going to be a compressed file. Oh, it's a file or it's going to be a, a different type of file where you have to extract it or you have to um, change the um, extract it from the file I'll, I'll show you guys I, I don't have anything right now I can show you with but basically you're going to download the homebrew browser you're going to what first thing you're going to do you're going to hit extract you're going to right click extract and this is the file you're going to get just make sure when you double click on it it looks like this it should have a temp boot icon list loop you have other stuff this is the one you're gonna use okay so you're gonna grab the homebrew browser and you're gonna put it in that folder you're gonna put it in the apps folder okay so once you do that you're gonna take this out you know you're gonna take it out safely remove it from your computer you're gonna put it in your Nintendo Wii and then you're gonna go to the homebrew channel and then you're gonna start downloading some of the apps some of the apps you can download will be like, um, let me go back. Some of the apps would be like the D2S CIOs installer, the Nintendo app, the window installer. See the window installer and the apps will actually be in the apps folder. But you're gonna get two, basically every time you download uh, emulator, like the Nintendo, the Sega, the not 64 the soup the super nes 9 xgx the game boy advance vga gx once you download all these they're gonna have a window that you can download from the browser and the uh, actual emulator but when you download them that this folder that, that we made this made believe folder the sample folder that you made the apps folder once you start downloading everything, it's gonna download 
like this it's gonna download like this it's gonna download GX it's gonna download the Nintendo Nintendo not 64 the Super Nintendo and Game Boy Advance once you download all those it's gonna basically put all the apps and they're all gonna have this they're gonna have a boot icon and a meta they're all gonna have that so when you see that you know it's gonna be a apps so you're gonna put those in the app folder and then over here it's gonna do it by itself the Wii is gonna make you a folder where you're gonna keep basically all the games that's why I have my apps folder and then I have my Gen Plus, Gen Plus GX, the Game Boy Advance, Nintendo 64, Super NES, Watts. We talked about those already, but I'll show you in another video more about Watts and the uh, PlayStation emulator, Wii X, SRX, uh, XRL. So basically, once you download stuff from the home browser, it's gonna put the app of the application inside there, and then it's gonna create a gens plus it's gonna create a gens plus over here where you're gonna have the cheats you can put covers and you can put the ROMs the ROMs this is on Nintendo ROMs right here so basically they go inside the ROMs folder it's gonna create a saves folder config all this stuff is basically the emulator it's gonna create an emulator file a folder that's this right here that's gonna have where the ROMs the BIOS and all that stuff is the stuff that needs the application to run and then the actual app that that, that the we reads will be this one right here okay guys so remember whenever you download don't get confused and start racing stuff it's gonna be two types so we got the we got a Nintendo oh it's gonna, it's gonna transfer it and we got the Sega Genesis the Sega Genesis you can use two. You got the cheats. Somebody was asking me for cheats. You can find the cheats and you can put them in there. And then the ROMs. And then the ROMs, if you want to be like me in the Sega, since the emulator can play um, Sega Game Gear and Sega Genesis, what I did is label two of them. I did all my Sega Genesis games and I did all my Game Gear games. Okay, so basically, once you load the application, and maybe I'll show you another video, guys, how to use the. Uh, Sega application but it's pretty easy so that's how you separate the files guys it's not hard once you start getting the hang of it like the Game Boy Advance same thing it's gonna be a ROMs folder saves folder and logs folder the saves is gonna be for your saves sometimes you gotta make a saves folder on some of them if you don't see a saves folder just make a saves folder just you know click here and make a new folder let me erase this one and that won't work all right, so the ROMs, the ROMs, and the ROMs for the Nintendo 60 uh, Game Boy Advance is, I have a folder, kind of like the way I did the Wii's. I made a folder with the name of it, and then I put the GBA file in that inside there. On some of them, I even erase some of this stuff so it can look cleaner. You can erase the GBA dot. You gotta leave that at the end, but you can erase this. You can leave it wars dot GBA, and it's still gonna work. You can take your time and make them all look like that. I did, but then I got, and then I, and then I sold the SD and I, and I forgot to save it. it. Took me like hours to get everything nice. Erase all those little logos where they're from and stuff like that. It's up to you guys, but all right. So that's uh, Game Boy Advance. Same thing. ROM, save, log, and then the Not 64. Same thing. Not 64, here we go. Boom, boom, ROM saves settings, okay? And those you don't mess with. Uh, Super NES, same thing. Artwork, you can get like, you know, you can get the, um, like the covers for the games, cheats, the covers. Artwork is basically the, like the, like the, um, like the little notebook that came with the little flyers. And um, ROMs, the ROMs again, you know. I made a folder with the title of the game, and inside I put the Super FSC. That's the Super uh, Falcon. It's basically uh, Super Nintendo. These are all my Super Nintendo games. 
Alright guys, so basically you see how it is, it's very simple, you can always determine which one it is. Once you download, you're going to see your apps, Super NES, you're going to see all this stuff, you cannot put no games in there. So you're going to put all this stuff, if you're downloading this stuff, not from the browser, what you got to do is make, just put all your apps in the, in the apps folder. Alright guys, and then, same here. I gotta show you for the PlayStation. The only thing you have to get for the PlayStation, you have to download this file right here. SCPH1001.vin. You have to download this VIN file and you have to put it in the BIOS. It doesn't come with it when you download it from the Homebrew browser. This is one of the one of the files you have to get to make the emulator work. SCPH 1001.bin just google that and you guys will be able to find it that's what i did i just downloaded it and i just put it in my vin file in my vin folder okay when you download the playstation uh, emulator it won't it'll have a bios in there but it won't be nothing in here so all you have to do is download that file the bin file and put it in your bios okay and then isos and the playstation they're going to be isos they're going to be all the games so here are my some of my playstation games like I tell some of the people that I um, get my Wii's to, I don't really have that many games because a lot of the PlayStation games, they, they don't play right. Some of them do, some of them don't. I think I made a video when I was testing a whole bunch of them. And then, and then here we go guys, the Watts. The Watts, we talked a little bit about them. They're basically the same as the Windows, the forwards, the Watt, Watt files, window files. So you can have a shortcut basically in, in the front of your Wii, in your main menu of your Wii. You can have a NOT64 or a Sega, the Sega uh, little window that I have, the um, USB loader and the PlayStation. So some of these you have to get off the Homebrew browser. The Homebrew browser won't have any of these. You have to download them from, um, you know, you got to find somewhere to download them from. You can just uh, you can just Google or just search on um, a lot of different links people on YouTube have. Just search Nintendo 64 Watt. Just search Watt, and you'll you'll find a lot of them. That's how I did. I just follow the links on, on people's like and I always say, guys. What I tell you guys here is that your own risk. I don't want you guys blaming me for any viruses you download or anything like that. Everything I always did with my phone i downloaded everything on my phone even these stuff I, I'm sorry I'm, that's, that's spanish in me even this stuff over here i just use my phone follow links on my phone and i downloaded them and then i transfer them to my computer okay guys so try to do that you want to be safer but at the end of the day you never know okay and the apps and the app folder the um, the t uh d2x style installer that's something we use in one of my um one of the videos this is a channel installer and if you go into it it's basically a wad and then the Nintendo is so you can play place uh, I'm sorry PlayStation is the Nintendo is so you can play um, GameCube games even though the Wii doesn't play GameCube games you'll be able to play GameCube games through the emulator through USB loader GX pit my Wii is a really cool application it lets you install the watts that you download from the internet and then um, USB loader GX. The power check that I just got that from the from the Homebrew browser. That's another app so you can see the you know the life of your battery on your controller. But there we go guys. I mean this stuff is pretty easy. All you have to really do is keep it like I have we have it here. Okay we're gonna go to apps and we go here apps and we're gonna transfer all this stuff over there. Okay, guys, and that's it. It's basically it. now I have a I have a SD right here that is ready to go, and basically that's it. And we're gonna put the remember we're gonna put the watts. The watts goes outside like if it's a folder like um like because of games, and this over here is empty. We're gonna erase this the folder that we made, and then my Wii Master copy is copied now into a, into a. SD that I'm put into a modern Wii after I did the whole Wi-Fi modding that I have the video for the how to mod your Wii in 2021 with Wi-Fi. Once you see that video, you mod your Wii. 
this is the next step you gotta grab you gotta buy a buy a bigger SD card a 32 gig it's a good size you can fit all this stuff over here and more and all you do is make your apps folder put your homebrew browser and start downloading stuff guys and then you can go on and build your collection of games like I have and then, like I tell people it takes a while to get all these games actually all these Nintendo games look 881 Nintendo games and this this was a package that I downloaded I went I found this link that had a like a Nintendo package that had basically all the games you can find stuff like that and make it a lot easier especially Nintendo Sega uh, Neo Geo Atari all those stuff is files are really really small so you'll get those easy Nintendo, uh, uh, look at that Game Boy Advance only have 63 so alright guys this stuff is doable it's not hard it's not rocket science it's not something that you guys will be confused on again I appreciate everybody for watching if you find this video helpful to kind of organize your files and your folders on your front SD on your Wii please leave me a like share or subscribe if you want to see some more stuff like I said I do my Wii stuff in this channel and I also have my Battle of the Hills coming back tomorrow night I'm around 11 30 midnight I'll be on live in another hill doing the best I can soon I was thinking I was thinking I was going to do a Battle of the Hills battle night on uh, once I hit my hundred subscribers so once I hit 100 subscribers, I'm going to try to hit up some of the people, some of the friends that I met through um, Mortal Kombat and playing the game and have them battle it out for, for you guys, okay? I'll try to battle them too, but appreciate you guys. Don't forget the Battle of the Hills. Devora. Creepy Devora. Alright, guys. Appreciate you. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share. Rum Collector. Thanks, you. Thanks you. Thanks you for watching.